people, people love the internet. internet. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am not in my usual filming setup. I'm also filming on my phone, so sorry if the quality isn't that great. Um, but I'm currently at my Aunt Nicole's house, so as you may have guessed, this is my Aunt Nicole. Hello, everybody. And today we spent pretty much a, a vast majority, a large chunk of our day going thrifting, and we went to three different thrift stores. Um, we went to a regular Goodwill, a Goodwill boutique, and then uh, a St. Vincent DuPont. We also went to Nordstrom Racks and Ulta, so we do have some stuff from Nordstrom Racks and Ulta that we'll show you guys. But we got a lot of good deals, and so we wanted to go ahead and share them with you. So we're gonna go ahead and take turns showing you what we got, and we have it separated by every single different store. So let's go ahead and get started. Do you want to go first? You can go first. Okay. Um, I'll just do this first so I don't forget it. Um, so the first thing I got is for Bo. Um, it is a little... Did I just break no, something? No, it's right there. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a little mini replica of the Twin Towers. And um, anytime I any, see anything from New York, I always send a picture to Bo. Especially because today was 50% off day at both the Goodwills we went to. Um, and so this was originally $3 and I got it for $1.50. And... It's just a little Twin Towers replica, um, and both from New York, so that's why he really likes the stuff from New York. And I always send him stuff and see if he wants it. So that is my first item. Okay, first. so my first item was a complete steal, oh, and yes. the, the best one of the day, I think. And it just so happens to be this lovely coach purse that looks absolutely new. It's pink on the inside, which it even looks very clean on the inside mm -hmm. as well. And has this nice pink stripe down the middle. And it was 50% off, so I got it for $23. $23 coach purse. Here is my first bag. Uh, the first thing I'm going to pull out of here is a super duper cute little sunflower picture frame. Um, I want to put a picture of Lucy in here um, because yeah I'm obsessed with her and I just thought it was so cute and I got this for a dollar. I got this cool shelf for two dollars and it's one of those like floating shelves that you hang like this on the wall and I'm gonna paint it white and hang it in my room that I'm redoing right now. So the next three items I got are books so this first book I have in here is the Girl Online Going Solo book by Zoe Sun. This is the third one in the series. I actually already have the first two, but I never got around to getting this one. So now I have this one so I can finally finish the series. I think they were only 25 cents, weren't they? The yeah, books. they originally it were a um, dollar for a hardback books. I think it's like that at All Goodwills. And then I got it, I think, for 50 cents. Oh, 50 cents. And then the paperback ones are 25 cents on 50% off day. Okay. Okay, your turn. You want to show me your other two books first? Okay. I got some books as well, and I'll show you mine. Um, my other book, I got another YouTuber book actually, it's the Work in Progress by Connor Franco book. Um, I remember when this came out, I actually really wanted to get it, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, so I got it now and I figured might as well give it a read. And then I also got um, Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. And it just sounded good, so I got that one and those are all the books I got. So I got Do It Yourself and Fun Books. So the first one I got was Do Fish Drink Water. This is a fun book on puzzling and improbable questions and answers. So I thought it was just cute. Uh, the second book I got is What's On Your Top 10 List. And it's never, it's kind of like for journaling and it's never been written in and you just write about the top 10 things on your list. And the last one is a flooring project because I want to redo the floor in my bathroom. So this is going to help me. Now moving on into the clothing items. This first one is probably a men's t-shirt, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, this is for my dad. It says, world's coolest dad on it. Um, we're hoping it fits him. Not 100% for sure. I think this is the one that's, one. it's like one size too small. Um, but, you know, it, it might work. And if not, my dad probably has dad friends he can gift it to. And this is originally three... 29 so I got it for like a dollar 15 give or take so I got this awesome Izod golf shirt for one of my good friends it doesn't even look like it's ever been worn it's really cute colors and I got it for the low low price of two dollars um, my next shirt I think this, yeah okay I actually got this one for myself 
It says, with you may the force be. It's a little yoga shirt um, because I'm obsessed with wearing men's t-shirts for myself uh, because they're just super duper comfortable. And this I also got for about a dollar fifteen. Just looks like that. It's a cartoon yoga. My next one is a work shirt. And it's so cute. And you can wear it with jeans too if you want it. And it was two dollars as well. You gotta love polka dots. So my next t-shirt, I think, this one I'm pretty sure is the one you found for me, Nicole. Uh, yeah, this one, I, I, I uh, found this one Mickey Mouse shirt, but I didn't really like the color of it. And it was also a golfing shirt, so then I was telling Aunt Nicole how I really love Disney shirts. And so then she found this cutie, and this is another little Mickey Mouse shirt, and this was again $1.15. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I love the cute little graphic tee. I found this for my youngest son, and it was only $1.50, and that's that sweat wicking fabric, and he loves that, so I found this for him, and he loves black, mm -hmm. so he'll love it. Okie dokie. Another t-shirt. This one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I just thought this would be really cute tucked in with a whitewash pair of jeans and the sleeves rolled, and this... Um, Dollar ten. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this shirt I got for a dollar twenty-five, and I thought it was cute. It's got a bear on it that just says the "Be Brave." And I got this for my oldest. He likes kind of pastel-y colors sometimes in the summer. So shirt for the oldest for a dollar twenty-five. Then I got myself a little cutesy tank top, and I was actually kind of like eh, about it. And my aunt Nicole was like, "Nope, you look really cute." She it. looked so really I did good. Get it. And it feels really cool, and it kind of looks like it be like a suede kind of material, but it, it's not really. Not Show them the back. back. Show them the back. And then the back looks like that. There's a little hoop, and then it has like two strings on each side. It's actually really cute. I really like it. I'm glad that I got it. So I got this for my brother, Haley's dad, <laughs> and we thought that he would like it, and it says bite me on it, because that's totally his personality, yeah. just bite me. Definitely something he would say. Yes. If he won't wear it now, he'll definitely wear it over Halloween. Yeah. So isn't that cute? So this next thing I got, I probably should have bought, but you know, it was just super duper cute, and I just couldn't pass it up because I passed up some Tommy Hilfiger shorts the other day, and this is a Tommy Hilfiger jean skirt. And it's a little bit too small for me, but I've been going to the gym recently, so if I lose like 5 to 10 pounds, I might be able to get it up. And if I can't, then oh well, I'll sell it. Um, it, it was $2.50. Two, two yeah. And like, it's just so cute. Like, how could I pass it up? And it even has like the little flag on the back. It was just ugh, too cute. I couldn't pass it up, so I got it. And I got this for myself. It says Fearless, and it's that wet wicking shirt, and it is $2.50. Then this found right towards the end of where we were there. I was super excited about this one. I oh, it. that is so cute. Yeah. She looked really cute in it, too. I'm so excited about this. So this is, if I can hold it up properly, it's a it's a army lightweight. Green, lightweight jacket. It's so cute. It is from the brand Meteor. And this actually has the original tag on it. And it says it originally retails for $50. And I got it for $450. So I thought that was a super cute deal, and this it's color. Got a little on the sleeves, a little button right yeah. here. So cute. And this color is super in fashion right now, so I am super excited about that. So we got this is another shirt for Haley's dad. It says, "Don't forget to tip the bartender." He helps bartend at the Gun and Rod Club, so always tip your bar people. Okay, this store. is still the first store, so these are like so cute. The brand is Bugacha. And they were only two dollars, but my son will absolutely love these. Look how cute those are, and they were two dollars. So like bright and fun for summer. Are they, they're swim trunks. Yeah, they're swim yeah. trunks. I think. So I got that for him, and then I got two little bases for a dollar fifty each. Look how cute that is. Yeah. It's hand painted on there, like to put in the bathroom or in a bedroom, and just put flowers in them. Mm -hmm. And I got two. Those. I like to collect pottery, so I got this really cute pottery creamer for $1.50. And I got a Pilsner glass. 
<laughs> it's a really nice one because it's got the really thin top, which I really like. And this one was 50 cents. And that's everything from the first store. Yes. Moving on to the Goodwill Boutique. So the first store we went to was just a regular Goodwill. So everything we're about to show you now is from the Goodwill Boutique, which I didn't know we even had one near us. So I was super excited to actually be able to go to one. Um, so the first thing I got is actually for my Grammy, which is also my Aunt Nicole's mom, because, you know, their brother and sister. And it was this super duper cute little Chinese checkers game, and Aunt Nicole actually pointed it out in the glass thing. And it didn't have all of the pieces, but it had enough to fill up the first three rows on each one and then, like, have a couple of extra ones. So it was originally $6, and I got it for $3, and um, my Grammy will love this, and Grammy she will see love this, it. so I don't know if I should just randomly go home and be like, Grammy, are you home and give it to her, or if I should wait until, like, Christmas or her birthday, but <laughs> she will eventually end up with that, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, so at the Goodwill Boutique, I got a complete steal. I can't believe I got these. So these are Merrill, yes, I said Merrill hiking boots. They are brand new. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Look at these. And they're so cute. They have pink shoelaces, pink down at the bottom. Look at the bottom even. Never used. Literally. I got them for $25. Merrill hiking boots. They're in such good I know. condition. Too. Amazing. Like, it literally looks like she just went out to the store and she bought them. Because there's like no sign of wear at all. Like we really don't think they were wearing them. Worn. Now they were 50, remember, but it was mm -hmm. at the boutique too. Everything was 50% off, yeah. so that's how I got it for 25. Yes. Okie dokie. So the first three things on the top of my bag are for my dad. So I got him this Izod. Um, it's actually a golf t-shirt, but he will wear this for work every day. I sent him a picture to make sure he liked it, and it's just this really pretty blue color, and then it has some white detailing in it, and it has like the little breathable holes. So I think he'll like this. Well, obviously he likes it. He said yes to it when I sent him a picture. And I got this for five dollars. And I got this really cute shirt for my son, my oldest son. Uh, it's also that sweat looking material for like if he has to dress up anytime in the summer. And it's really soft. Mm -hmm. And I got it for three dollars. Three dollars. My next item is for my dad, and this is the one I think he was most excited about. It is this button-down camo shirt, and it's not buttoned right now, um, but it has one of his favorite things, which he doesn't know this because I didn't send him a picture of the back. It has one of his favorite things in the back where it's like a sweat air vent is what I call them uh, because it's, it has this netting where he can, you know, his back can breathe it on a hot, sweaty day. So, and it is from the brand Remington. I don't know if that's like a good yeah, activewear brand. Yeah, that is actually though. a really good activewear brand. Awesome. And I think I got it for $3, but I don't see the tag. Go to sell right over here. $4. Ah, $4. So I got another shirt for my oldest son. This one is an Under Armour. It looks brand new, and it's a collared, the sweat wicking, and I got it for $4. Under, under Armour. Yes, I said Under Armour. <laughs> The next thing, again, is still for my dad. It is this really funny uh, button-up. And again, it's not buttoned up right now. Um, but this is from the brand C&B Sport. And it is just a shirt of a bunch of different beers and American flag. And hopefully this fits him because this is one size too small, but it looks really big for its size. And I got this for $6. And we were thinking he could wear it on the 4th of July. Yes. Because the American flags and beer, you know. Got another shirt for my oldest son, just a plain blue shirt to wear with shorts. And I got this one for $2.50. It's a Russell. My next shirt is a Panic at the Disco shirt. And I thought it was super duper cute. This was in the actual, uh, this was actually in the men's section. And I got this for $4 and I just thought it was super cute. They actually had a lot of band tees there, but this was the one I liked the most. I got my oldest a pair of dress shorts. They're cargo shorts. They have the little thing on the side and they're really nice. And uh, these were $4. Uh, I don't know what the brand is, but they feel really nice and heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. My next shirt is my favorite find, I think, of all day. 
So it is a beagle shirt, and on it it says Beagle, make or master of the puppies, and it just has a whole bunch of beagles on it. And the top up here, I think it's like a it's like a Metallica. Metallica. Yeah. Um, I think it's like like a knockoff Metallica, if you will, or like a a meme of a Metallica shirt, but beagles. They also have this for Blue Healers and American. Or no, an Australian Shepherd. Um, but obviously, I have a beagle, so I'm a beagle biased, and they're my favorite dog. So I got that. So these are a pair of shorts for my youngest son. They were two dollars. And then this I got. I think is this green? This yes. Part? Okay. Yeah, it's hunter green. So I got this really cute green shirt, and it says, "In a world where you can be anything, be kind." And it has a little pit bull wearing a flower crown on it, and I just thought it was so cute. And I got this for three dollars, and I I don't know if I said it, but I got the beagle one I think for three dollars too. So yeah. yeah, and I just I love I just love tacos. Gosh, so I have a friend that absolutely loves tacos, and I got this for her, and it is so cute. And it says on it, "I'm into fitness, fitness into my mouth, <laughs> fit in, oh no, fitness taco, taco. into my mouth." <laughs> Isn't so that funny. so cute? That's hilarious. She's going to love it. And I got it for $3. And then the last item I got at the Goodwill Boutique was this super duper cute pair of pink Nike shorts with a white stripe down the side and half a seven. Oh, $3.50. Yeah, $3.50. I was like, wait, that's not a number that splits right in half. It has changed. And I just thought these were super cute. That is everything I got at the Goodwill Boutique. Then the next stop was a St. Vincent de Paul. So I found another piece of pottery, and this is so cute. Mm -hmm. It was six fifty, and it's that's connected, so you can put the sauce in here or something in here, and then you have this part to put chips or crackers or whatever. I think it's really cute mm -hmm. pottery. So I'm just gonna pull this out because it's right on top. Um, the, one of the first things I got while I was there is this Little Mix Salute CD, and I actually I really like Little Mix. Um, but I don't have any of their CDs or anything. I normally just listen to it on Spotify. Um, and I thought this would be nice because I actually really love using CDs in my car. And I got a pair of jeans for $4 and they are um, Vera Wang. And they're dark blue, really cute, brand new, never worn, amazing. My next item is a super cute picture frame and it doesn't have a back or anything, but I'm sure I can rig something up um, to keep it up like this or add something, glue something on it to hang it on the wall. But I just thought this was super cute. It is a glass picture frame and there's dried leaves and twigs in it at the top and the bottom. Um, and I plan to use it like this and hang it or put it somewhere. Uh, but I got this for a dollar and I just thought it was really cute so I picked that up. And then I got this for $1.50 and it's a frame and you could either hang it on the wall like this or you can hang it on the wall like this. I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna hang it, but I thought it was cute. Um, but then I got these two matching picture frames, and these were 50 cents each then if they were half off. And I just thought these were super cute. And recently Bo gave me some photos of him for his senior photos, so I thought I could put his senior photos in there. Okay, so I only have one more thing at that store, and we actually both got some. I bought a pair for me oh. and my friend, and she bought two pairs for herself. So we're going to show you together this item. Yes. And it's really different and really comfortable. Yes. Oh, my gosh. We were so excited when we found them. And they were only $5 each. Yes. And they're brand spanking new. Okay. Yes. Oh, we, we got the same one. Yes. That's the same one. So they're shoes. And How so, cute are those? Like, and they have this little buckle on the side mm -hmm. right here. And you just snap it like like that. And it goes across your foot. And, well, I so see, this, it goes across your foot right when there. When you unbuckle this, you can scoot this part forward. So then if this is too big, if you scoot that part forward, then you can have it. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I didn't realize that till. Yeah, like, but I they are so bit. comfortable and even and brand and new. Top. And in the bo in the box, oh, yeah. it also came with extra cushion. If you want them even more cushion, you can put um, extra cushion. In. Show oh. them, show them your other pair. This one doesn't have the extra cushion, but this one does have the bag that came with it. I, I guess don't know they, they do, oh. but I think this mine one may have not have come out. with it either. I don't know. Cause I just got a bag too. Maybe only some of them come with extra okay, cushions. Okay, I thought but that I think my other one. I saw a couple things that had the extra cushion. Okay, well, I didn't, but I wasn't really looking for that because I didn't yeah. know they had that. Yeah. So okay. those are those. They're super duper cute, and they're I, they're just something fun, and they like stretch around your foot. 
so it's, it's just really comfortable. So, oh, so uh, this is my second pair. These ones are just black with some gold detailing in there. Okay, and yeah, these ones came with the extra padding as well as the bag. But they are so comfortable. It's literally like, oh, it's like memory foam, kind of. It's crazy. It's, oh my gosh, it's so, they're so comfortable. I feel like these would be really good shoes to wear to like an amusement park and stuff. Because they're comfortable, you can walk in them all day. They don't really need socks and yeah. they breathe. We did stop <laughs> for an ice cream break. Oh, yes, we did. We did. Okay, so I got quite a few things um, at St. Vincent de Paul. This was my first time ever going to a St. Vincent de Paul. So I'm going to show you the next item I got because we're on the top of the shoes. So the next item I got are these super cute red and cork Tommy Hilfiger wedges. And these are, or they were. Six dollars, and I just thought they were so cute. And I was kind of like, eh, and my aunt Nicole was like, nope, they're cute, you should get them. And I'm she like, looked okay, really okay. cute in this, they're adorable. And then my deal of the day listen to this, these are brand new, still have tags on them. Levi jeans, okay. And you know, Levi jeans are expensive, and everyone always is hunting for them. They're the modern slim fit. And they didn't have a Goodwill tag on, or sorry, a St. Vincent DuPont tag on them. And so the lady, you know, she was working on the cash register, and she's like, I'll just charge you for the price of a blue tag. And I don't know how much a blue tag is. But I was like, okay, sounds good. And she's like, actually, you know what? I'll just give them to you for 75 cents. Brand new Levi's jeans for 75 cents. That is the best bargain I think I have ever gotten in my life. So, that was a good deal. Yeah, I was, was so excited about that. Oh, I do have some more pants in here. So this I actually, that's a skirt, it's a skirt actually. But I got this um, navy and navy skirt with white polka dots for $3.99. And I plan on wearing this on the 4th of July. And it has shorts under it so I can like run around and do some cartwheels if I wanted to. I don't want to do cartwheels, but just in case, I can. And then to go with that, I got this shirt from Apostrophe for $4.99. And this is like just a ribbed red t-shirt. So I thought that'd be really cute to, to wear on 4th of July. And then I got this cool striped shirt. And it kind of looks really granny when I'm not when it's not on. But when I have it on, it looks way cuter. The fit is way cuter. And it's super duper thick. Like it's really thick, but it's also really stretchy. And this was a $4.99 as well. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, that is really cute on. I almost didn't get this one too. Yeah, that's really cute. I got this shirt, it's called True Destiny. And I got this, I think it was four, nine, yeah, it was $4.99. And this is the back. And it's just this really cute striped shirt. I don't know if it's like, Oh yeah, and it so this, this ties at the waist mm -hmm. and it's really cute. Yeah, it is really cute and it's yellow and I love, I love yellow. So I was really excited about that. And then my last clothing item, well, shirt anyways, is this one from ICI New York. Um, this was also $4.99, and this is just really cute flowy white shirt. And then when I had it on, it kind of reminded me of like a pirate shirt, like you know what like a, a lady pirate would wear, and I thought that was super cute. So I thought maybe if I wanted to ever be a pirate for Halloween, I can do that, but also just for like everyday wear. If I wanted to dress up just a little bit, mm -hmm. that'd be good for that. And then I got this chain because, you know, chains are really popular to wear in your pants. So I thought I could put this on my pants and be a cool kid. So, chain. <laughs> that is everything I got at St. Vincent DuPont. Okay, also, so also, I shopped the clearance and I got a Burt's Bee, uh, what is this? Lipstick, liquid lipstick for $2.49. It's kind of plummy. I did buy a lip stain that was a little more expensive that's like a hot pink and um, I don't know, B-U-X-O-M. Buxom. Buxom. And uh, they said that it really stays on like all day long. Mm -hmm. And then I bought some Vanilla Mint Poopery. Every lady needs one of these in her bathroom. <laughs> okay. Um, what I got at Ulta is the first thing I got was uh, my birthday gift thing because my birthday was in June. And it is this Lancome Glow Pump, oh wait, what is this called? Oh, this Lancome Hydro 
Gel Melting Mask. So it's a face mask. So I got that. And then I got this Ulta Beauty Juice Infused Lip Oil. And I got the Sweet Rose. I got the Sweet Rose one. I really like it. It feels really good on my lips. I already put it on. Then I got a Clarence Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sandy Seeds. And then I also got a ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the sh color Champagne Mommy. And I don't know if I already have this or not, so I have to check when I get home. But it's really pretty, um, so I'll figure it out when I get home. <laughs> and then we went to Nordstrom Rack and looked at the makeup there, and we actually got some really good deals there. Yeah. So I bought, at Nordstrom's Rack, I bought a eyebrow pencil that Haley's going to show me how to do because I've never done my eyebrows before with an eyebrow pencil. And then I bought another liquid lipstick that's supposed to stay on, and it's called, how do you say that? Stila. Stila. And it's a really pretty plummy color. And then I bought a NYX um, powder, facial uh, finishing powder. At Nordstrom Rex, what I got is, <laughs> well, uh, I, got, I got three of these um, Stila Glitter and Glow highlighters, but I don't like to use these as highlighters because, you know, the glitter is pretty chunky in them, so I like to use them on my eyes, like the eyeball ones, because the eyeball ones are like $20 for one of those, and the highlighters are, are like $30 for one. Um, but I actually got these all for $9.97, and I got the colors... Kitten, Monarch, and Queen. Um, so I'm really excited about those because I really, I really like them. So she did pay $9.97 each, but still, that's that's the price of it. She would have just bought one. For one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I got this Bling Thing MAC Liquid Lip Lacquer. And it's, oh my gosh, that's so cool. It's uh, called <laughs> Freaking Brilliant. And it's uh, like a brick red, shimmery, gorgeous, beautiful lipstick. It's, um, it's really cool. I've never bought myself anything MAC before, so that was really exciting. And yeah, that is everything that we got. We were busy today. We were very busy. Yes, Just, we were. Yes, yeah, shopped till we dropped, and now we're making some macaroons. So, because my, my aunt, she's a really good chef. She went to the America, Culinary. Culinary Institute of America. So, yeah, mm -hmm. she, knows, she knows how to do everything, and Okay, that is going to be all for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my lovely aunt, and yeah, that, that's all for this video, so if you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, if you want to stay tuned for some future videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel, as well as hit that bell button, so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video, and until next time, kisses from Kentucky, well, we're in Ohio today, kisses from Ohio, bye! Bye!